Um, let me give you one question. Uh, actually, I received the same questions a lot before. As I mentioned before, we can switch on uh, hidden icon to display the section shape of the frame. However, in the case of the plate, uh, the thickness may not appear even if we switch on the hidden icon. Uh, for example, I will open another project. Uh, in this bridge, the circular section of the column is now properly visible, but the plate thickness of uh, superstructure super is not visible. Even though I switch on hidden option, so what should I what should I do in this case? I want to display the uh, plate thickness. Okay, uh, let's go into the draw tab. If we uh, select the hidden option, there is a checking button. Plain thickness. After checking on plain thickness and hit OK. Now, plate thickness is visible for us properly. I will give you uh, give you one more useful option uh, in the draw tab. In the current model, the color of uh, all elements is the same, but you can change the color for each element type. Here is the uh, element type color. If we select this and hit apply, as you see, the color is changed by the type of element. And we can also edit each color of element here. Here. We can change this color. Okay. Now, let me explain how to check input data using tree menu. Uh, in MyDotCivil, there is a tree menu on the left side. This is a tree menu. In the tree, tree menu, we can see all of the work we have done in modeling, such as nodes, uh, loads, and properties, uh, boundary conditions, and so on. Uh, we can also select some items and attribute them to model. Let me try in uh, my decibel. In the work tab, work tab, uh, static loads, once you display element beam loads, click display the loads appear on the screen. Uh, in order to check properties of material, open properties, uh, materials, and right click, select properties. So you can check uh, all the, all the mat material data and modify if you need. In case of boundary conditions, once you display hexagon symbols appear on the support. Uh, these symbols uh, means that dx, dx, dy, dz, rx, ry, and rz in clockwise direction and green when, when fixed. So 
for example, uh, after we check off our all of rotations and hexagon symbol will be changed according to the properties. Mm, I will try selecting elements in the tree menu. Let's double click each each element. Here are truss, beam, plate, and we can select the elements which are relevant to materials. A572, A36, C4500. In the same way, we can select the elements which are relevant to sections. Like here. After selecting some elements in the model, we can easily assign the property to selected elements by drag and drop. For example, uh, once you select, uh, once you select the elements of A36, which are truss elements, and drag and drop A572 from tree menu on the screen, like this. At result, the color of A36 has turned blue because it has not been assigned to uh, assigned it to any elements. And now, truss elements belong to A572. You can see. Okay, now I will talk about the tables in the tree menu. Uh, if we click some items such as material, there is a table buttons. And also, if we, um, we can also go into tables by moving uh, to tables tab here, uh, next to works tab, and structure, properties, and double click material. Table window has been generated. Uh, this table has the same form with spreadsheet, so we can edit value. Like using spreadsheet. Uh, I will give you a tip of tree menu. Mm, right click on the black space in the upper bar and select tree menu 2 here. Tree menu 2. So that second tree menu appears on the right. If we have two tree menus on the both sides, one can be used as a workspace and the other can be used to any works at the same time. For example, if you wanna clear, create some items like this, new window appears covering the first tree menu and we would have to close it to use the tree menu. Uh, in this case, we if we have second tree menu here, it, it is possible to use both side window at the same time. This is very convenient for you. Okay, lastly, in this lesson, I will talk about display options of construction stage. Uh, we have a plan to focus on the analysis of construct stage in another lesson, but now, I will briefly explore the model along the construction stage. I will open 
another project, FCM. Okay, this is um, FCM bridge. In the upper left of the screen, here are Here are some icons of construction stage. In this icon, we can define the construction stage. And in the middle, we can see the model corresponding to each construction stage. And in this icon, we can define composite sections for each construction stage. On the lower left of tree menu, here, we can see the list of construction stage we have defined. Uh, currently, uh, CS1 and uh, to CS16 are defined. Uh, the mother, mother we are looking at uh, is selected as base. So because uh, this is a base model, in other words, this is a completed model including all the work. So clicking the define icon will bring up a list of stage we have defined. Select C as one and click modify show here we can see the uh, duration of cs1 and the element boundary and load corresponding to cs1 boundary load for example in the element tab there are several group lists of which group uh, here, group 1-0 and group 2-0 are activated with uh, an age of uh, uh, 15 and pure 1 and pure 2 are activated with an age of 100. Let's see relevant model for each stage. Return to the screen, click the base, and select CS1. Let's go to the group tab and click one by one. Uh, this part is group one, uh, one dash zero, and this part here is uh, group. 2 dash 0 and peer 1 here peer 2 uh, is like this in the works tab of three menu only the items uh, corresponding to cs1 are activated so depending on our selection the screen shows the corresponding model And as you see, the three menu items will be changed according to the model. You can see. Okay, this uh, This is pretty pretty much it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please click the question board on the dialogue and send me questions.